Alright, what's up everyone? This is Scott with another video today. And today's topic is going to be on um, how an early college high school helped me learn more about college and why I recommend if you're um, about to enter high school, um, why I recommend going into an early college or taking dual credit classes in your high school if your school district does not have an early college that is available. All right, so when I was in the eighth grade, I had the opportunity to apply to go to an early college high school. And the early college high school really helped me understand what college was all about. You see, um, as a first generation college attendee in my family, I really did not um, know what um, college was all about. I, I would always see it um, displayed in in school whenever I was um, younger but I, I didn't know what the college classes were about and I really wanted to go into uh, college just to see how um, just see what I'd be getting myself into so when I was applying um, I did have to submit an application when I was applying to the early college I did have to submit an application and an interview but basically, you just have to let the um, interviewers know that you're interested in doing the best you can and um, doing good while you're in college. That's basically it. And more than likely, you'll be able to get in. So when I entered the early college, um, it immediately allowed me to take college level classes at the local community college um, where I was at. And that was great because I was able to take college level courses in high school and I was able to take high school classes at the same time. Granted, the, um, the early college did not have any um, sports, but there were like intramural sports um, within that school and I was in those. Um, getting back on track though, I was able to take um, college level courses while I was in high school. So. Basically, some of the college level courses would be at the um, early college academy, or I would get on a bus, and that's and the early college would take me all the way to the local community college, and I'd be taking college level classes with um, regular college students, and that was great because I was able to really focus on that, and I was able to graduate with my associates before graduating with my high school diploma. I was in my junior year of high school when I graduated with my associate's degree. And that just meant that I was able to accumulate 60 credits um, in college. Uh, and then a year later, which was the, which makes sense, the usual four years to finish high school, I graduated with my high school diploma. So that already meant that I already had two years down and I was able to um, assimilate and see how um, life in college was all about. I was able to um, get better at my note-taking skills, get better learning more about college and seeing how it really, um, how it really is. Um, First-hand experience. It was, it was great. I also, it also meant that I was two years ahead because um, after graduating high school, that only meant technically that I had to take two more years of college so I could get my bachelor's degree, which um, which was another great thing as well. So this is why I'm saying um, an early college is great. And I know a lot of school districts in the US does not do not have early colleges available. But if, if it does, uh, take the chance. Um, see how it is. You can always um, you can always see how it is, and if you don't like it, go back to the regular high school. But if you're a first college, if you're a first generation college attendee in your family, like me, and you want to see more about college, and you just want to see what it would be about, then I'd say take the opportunity. Take the opportunity to learn. Um, nothing to lose. This is your sign to take it. I think that it was uh, very beneficial for me, and it would be for you too. Um, if you um, are thinking about going into college and getting um, getting a bachelor's degree in the, in the future. All right, so what if you do not have an early college in your school district? Well, 
there's no worry. Regular high schools should have dual credit um, classes, which are basically the same as a taking a college level class. Basically, you get high school credit for it, and you get college credit for it. Um, I don't know if that would be um, par with the um, AP exam. However, if there are AP exams in your high school, I recommend that you take as many as you can. You never know. It might be able to save you some money when, when you're uh, thinking about going into college. Um, some of the AP exams are a little difficult, but, you know, like I said, it's worth to take the opportunity to take it. Um, if you don't do as well as you thought, well, hey, you can always take that class in college. Um, and even if you don't score as well as you want to, it will teach you some very valuable skills like um, note-taking skills and what college classes expect out of you once you enter college. So, yes, if you um, are really interested in going to college, but there are no early college high schools in your school district, then I recommend going to um, the regular high school and just taking a dual credit taking as many dual credit classes as you can or as many AP exams um, as you can. Um, again, this is for mainly for people that are um, entering high school. Um, if you're already in high school, well, I suggest you do the best you can in um, everything you do. I'll be talking about high school in another video, um, uh, how to do the best you can while you're in high school and get into one of the... One, get into one of the best colleges that you would like to be in. Uh, yeah, so that's what I have to say. It really helped me. It really improved um, and broadened my um, horizon in the college experience because there's a lot of college-related things that are much different than what um, we think college might be like. Um, a lot more note-taking, a lot more documents that we got to review, the FAFSA coming up. So there's a lot of different things and there's scholarships. I'll be talking about that uh, as well in another video. Um, so yes, uh, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, and also, please like this video. And for more regular videos, don't forget, hit that subscribe. You won't regret it. Um, it's really really, um, you know, great that I have this platform to share on and that um, I hope, you know, I hope it really helps you in the future. And I'll be making more videos um, regularly. So thank you very much and peace.